Hello friends, welcome to the Smart Studies. Here we are going to discuss some important question of uh, physics, which may come on SSC, PSC, and railway exams, and various various other competitive exams. Uh, you can subscribe our channel for more updates. Let's come to the question number one. Which instrument is used to measure the altitudes in aircraft? Here we have four options: uh, audiometer, ammeter, altimeter, anemometer. The right answer is altimeter. It is an instrument which is used to measure the altitudes in aircraft, and uh, we can also uh, discuss about the remaining options. It may helpful somewhere. So, audiometer, which is an instrument which is used to measure the intensity of sound. It is an instrument. And uh, next one is ammeter. Ammeter is an instrument which is used to measure the strength of electric current. and the remaining one is anemometer which is used to measure the velocity of winds and direction let's come to the question number second it is an uh, which instrument is used to measure the depth of ocean here we also have uh, four options uh, but the right answer uh, is fathometer and the remainings are galvanometer flux meter endoscope galvanometer it is an instrument which is used to measure the electric current flux meter it is an instrument which is used to magnetic flux measure the magnetic flux and endoscope it endoscope it is an instrument which is used to examine the internal parts of the body it is an instrument which is used to uh, check some properties uh, of the internal part of the body let's come to the question number 3 name the instrument which is used to measure the atmospheric pressure here we have four option people always get confused between the barometer and barograph so don't get confused the but the right answer is barometer which is used to measure the atmospheric pressure and what barograph do barograph it is an instrument which is re, used to record the atmospheric pressure people get confused to measure and record so don't get confused barometer is used to measure the atmospheric pressure and barograph is used to record the atmospheric pressure and bolometer which is used to measure the heat radiation and caliper Uh, it is an instrument which is used to measure the inner and outer diameter of the bodies let's come to the next question uh, which instrument is used to measure the power of electric circuit here we also have a four option voltmeter wattmeter wave meter viscometer the right answer is wattmeter it is an instrument which is used to measure the power of electric circuit and the remaining options uh, have voltmeter voltmeter it is an instrument which is used to measure the electric potential difference between two point you can measure the electric potential difference between the two points and uh, wave meter wave meter it is an instrument which is used to measure the wavelength of a radio wave and viscometer viscometer it is used to measure the viscosity of a liquid uh viscosity you can also define as uh, the resistance between the uh, moving of two layers let's come to the next question which instrument is used to measure the submarine to see the objects above the sea level it is an instrument which is used to measure the object uh, which is used to see the objects above the sea level the right answer is periscope periscope it is an instrument uh which you can see any object above the sea level from the submarine and picometer what picometers do it is used to determine the density and the coefficient of expansion of liquid picometer works as this and uh, what polygraph used for uh, it is an instrument which is used to record the changes in heartbeat blood pressure and respiration blood pressure it is also very popular question uh which uh, instrument is used to measure the blood pressure so its answer is sphygmo manometer which is used to measure the bp and uh, photometer 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 it is an instrument which is used to compare the luminous intensity of the sources of light let's come to the next question uh, which instrument is used to measure the curvature of spherical object so its right answer is uh, speedo meter its right answer is speedometer and uh, the others uh, other options are spectroscope spectroscope it is used to record the spectra 
and the spectrometer it is used to measure the position of spectral lines and the sextant it is used to measure the height of a very distant object and also used by the navigator to find the latitude let's come to the question number 7 now uh, which instrument is used to record the physical happening at a distance place it is an instrument its answer is telemeter so it is an instrument which is used if any uh, physical happening exist uh, around us that will indicate by a telemeter and the remaining option are thermostat tonometer transponder so what uh, thermostat do it is used to regulate the temperature at a particular point you can regulate a temperature of a particular point by using thermostat and uh, what tonometer's work is uh, it is used to measure the pitch of a sound you can measure the pitch of sound by using tonometer it is a device transponder transponder is uh, used to receive a signal and transmit a reply immediately if you receive any signal you can immediately resp respond it by using transponder so it's working is like that and come to the next question uh, which instrument is used to measure the scattering of light by particles suspended in a liquid so which kind of instrument is used to measure the scattering of light by particles suspended in a liquid so its uh, right answer is nephelometer it is an instrument which is used to measure the scattering of light by particles suspended in a liquid if any particle is suspended in a liquid so its scattering of light can be measured by the nephelometer and the other options are ohm meter ohmmeter and pyrometer so what ohm meter is do it is used to measure the electrical resistance in ohm and what ohmmeter's work is it is used to measure the frequency of the electromagnetic waves and what pyrometer do is it is used to measure the very high temperature so pyrometer's work as to measure the very high temperature it is required to measure the high temperature so pyrometer is a instrument which is used to measure the high temperature come to the next one uh, which instrument is used to determine the intensity of a color we have four options but the right one is colorimeter colorimeter is an instrument which is used to determine the intensity of color it doesn't measure it here it is uh, intensity of a color so we can determine the intensity of color by using coloro color, colorimeter but the remaining what do uh, cathetometer it is an instrument which is used to do determine the height you can measure the height by using cathetometer and what chronometer's work is it is used to uh, longitude of a vessel at sea it is used to determine the longitude of a vessel at sea and what commutator is it is used to convert ac to dc you can convert the ac to dc let's come to the next next question uh, which instrument is used to measure the changes in a volume of a substance uh, that means uh, how can we measure if any uh, substance volume get changed we can measure it with a dilatometer and uh, other options we have also uh, so it's uh, dynamo, dynamo which is used to convert mechanical energy into the electrical energy and uh, cyclotron its uh, working is it is an accelerator cyclotron is a type of charge particle accelerator which can accelerate the charge particle to higher energies and electroscope uh, it is an instrument which is used to detect the presence of electric charge if we want to find the presence of any electric charge we can use electroscope let's come to the next one uh, which instrument is used to measure the sound under the water here the question is asking us the sound under the water is measured by which instrument so its uh, right answer is d hydrophone it is an instrument which is used to measure the sound under the water and uh, the uh, speed of sound under the water is uh, 1484 meter per second and the speed of sound in air is uh, 343 meter per second so its difference uh, 4.3 times uh, between them that means uh, 4.3 times as fast as in air the speed of water and hygrometer what hygrometer uh, do is uh, it is an ins instrument which is used to measure the level of humidity hygroscope 
it is an instrument which is used to show the changes in atmospheric humidity if there is any change in atmospheric humidity takes place that will can that will uh, measure or uh, detect by detect by hygroscope hypsometer it is an instrument which is used to determine the boiling points of a liquid if you want to measure the boiling points of a liquid it is measured by hypsometer let's come to the next one which instrument is used to measure the pressure of gases so the pressure of gases can be measured by manometer and uh, what magmeter do it is an instrument which is used to determine the speed of an aircraft in terms of speed of sound in terms of speed of sound uh, we measure the speed of aircraft by magmeter uh, and the magnetometer it is an instrument is used it is used to compare the magnetic moment and field micrometer it is an instrument which is used to convert the sound wave into electrical vibration you can convert the waves of sound into the electrical vibration let's come to the next one let's come to the next one which instrument is used to measure the heat radiation the question is asking by which instrument we can measure the heat radiation its right answer is radio micrometer and uh, what radars do is radar it is an instrument which is used to detect the direction and speed of any object by means of radio waves that means by means of radio waves we can detect the direction and speed of any object selenometer selenometer it is used to determine the salinity of solution and what is refractometer refractometer it is used to measure the refractive indices refractive indices uh, that means it describe how light propagates through that medium that uh, for example the refractive index of water is 1.333 that means the light travels 1.333 times faster in va vacuum than uh, than it, it does in water let's come to the next one which instrument is used to measure the strength of direct current by which instrument we can measure the strength of direct current so its uh, right answer is tangent galvanometer and what a stroboscope is it is used to view rapidly moving objects by using this instrument we can the uh, we can view the rapid movement of any object and what a stereoscope is it is used to view the two dimensional pictures tachometer is it is used to determine the rotational speed of a shaft that uh, which is used in aeroplanes and uh, motor boats so here the question regarding instrument is going to end and uh, the question regarding inventors is get started k macmillan invented we have four options bicycle barometer calculating machine centigrade scale so its right answer is uh, bicycle k macmillan invented bicycle and what barometer is we earlier discussed about this barometer is an instrument used to measure atmospheric pressure and uh, it is Uh, invented by E Torricelli E Torricelli of Italy in 1644 calculating machine was invented by Pascal uh, of France in 1642 Pascal is a <clears throat> it is unit of pressure and centigrade scale was invented by A Celsius of France in 1742 let's come to the next one come to the next one Thomas Alva Edison invented what Thomas Alva Edison invented cinematograph is the right answer and uh, what cinema cinema is uh, cinema was invented by AL and JL Luminary of France in 1895 cine camera was invented by Freezy Grants Freezy Green of Britain in 1889 computer was invented by Charles Babbage of britain in 1834 he also known, he is also known as father of computer let's come to the next one alfred nobel invented what alfred nobel invented he invented dynamite uh, he invented dynamite in the year of 1867 he belongs from sweden as we earlier discussed what dyna, uh, what dynamo is which convert mechanical energy into the electrical energy 
and uh, diesel invent diesel engine was invented by Rudolf Diesel of Germany in 1892 dynamo was invented by Michael Faraday of England in 1831 and x-ray was invented by Wilhelm Röntgen of Germany in 1895 let's come to the next one david huge invented what he invented is option b is the right answer microphone microphone was invented by david hughes and uh, in he belongs from usa invented microphone in 1878 machine gun was invented by richard gatling of usa in 1861 and uh, microscope was invented by j j jensen of netherland in 1590 and motorcycle was invented by edward butler of england in the year of 1884 come to the next one mary and perry curie invented what they both invented is uh, radium it is a really very easy question they belongs from france and invented radium in the year of 1898 and uh, radio was invented by g marconi who belongs from england uh, in the year of 1901 he invented radio and radar was invented by dr a h taylor and l c young of usa in the year of 1922 and the refrigerator refrigerator was invented by j harrison and a catlin of britain in the year of 1834 come to the next one alexander graham bell invented what alexander graham bell invented it is really very popular and easy question what he invented is Uh, the right answer is telephone which is invented by him in the year of 1876 he belongs from usa and telescope was invented by hans leffersche of netherland in the year of 1608 television was invented by john logie bird of scotland in the year of 1926 who is whose uh, whose short name is jl bird and uh, tank was invented by sir ernest swing ton of england in the year of 1914 come to the next one harry berle has invented what he invented is stainless steel it is very popular in construction and in various field also so what is uh, stainless steel is discovered or invented by harry berle in the year of 1913 he belongs from england electro electric iron has been invented by h w seeley of USA in the year of 1882 electromagnet has been invented by w sturgeon of england in the year of 1824 gramophone has been invented by t a edison of usa in 1878 come to the next who discovered atom it is uh, very easiest one whose answer is uh, john dalton discovered atom in the year of 1808 Madam Curie as we earlier discussed about this uh, James Chadwick discovered neutron in the year of 1932 neutron is discovered by James Chadwick in the year of 1932 and Rutherford discovered proton in the year of 1919 come to the next one who discovered the diode bulb diode bulb is discovered by which one we have option but the right one is JS Fleming sir JS Fleming discovered the diode bulb in the year of 1904 lee de forest discovered triode bulb diode there is difference between triode or diode so don't get confused so lee de forest discovered by uh, triode lee de forest discovered the triode bulb in the year of 1906 archimedes who is famous for his some principles so what archimedes discovered the laws of flotation uh, principle of flotation he gave in the year of 1827 Henry Becquerel discovered the radioactivity in 1896. Come to the next one. Radiocarbon is produced in the atmosphere as a result of. Radiocarbon is produced in the atmosphere as a result result of. Whose result is the radiocarbon is produced in the atmosphere? In the following options, but the right one is uh, option A. Collision between the fast neutron and nitrogen nuclei present in the atmosphere. is the right answer come to the next one the absorption of ink by blotting paper involves what phenomena takes place behind the absorption of ink by blotting paper involves 
सो इट्स राइट आंसर इज कैपिलरी एक्शन फिनोमिना थ्रू द कैपिलरी एक्शन द एब्जॉर्बन ऑफ इंक बाय ब्लॉटिंग पेपर टेक्स प्लेस कम टू द नेक्स्ट वन साइफन विल फेल टू वर्क इफ बोथ इट्स लिम्स आर ऑफ अन इक्वल लेंथ द टेम्परेचर ऑफ द लिक्विड इन द टू वेजल्स आर द सेम द लेवल ऑफ द लिक्विड इन द टू वेजल्स आर द सेम हाइट द डेंसिटीज ऑफ द लिक्विड इन द टू वेजल्स आर इक्वल द राइट आंसर इज सी साइफन विल फेल टू वर्क इफ द राइट आंसर इज सी द लेवल ऑफ द लिक्विड इन द टू वेजल आर ऑफ द सेम हाइट कम टू द नेक्स्ट वन न्यूक्लियर साइजेस आर एक्सप्रेस इन अ यूनिट नेम्ड we have four option fermi angstrom newton tesla as we all know the option c will never exist for this question because it is the unit of force and uh, what is the right answer is fermi nuclear sizes are expressed in a unit fermi one fermi is equivalent to 10 to the power minus 15 meter and uh, one angstrom is equal to 10 to the power minus 10 meter and uh, the fourth option d tesla it is a unit of electric field intensity come to the next question light here is the unit of time light distance intensity of light the right option is right answer is c next question uh, radian is used to measure temperature intensity of flame angle solid angle but the right answer is angle people always get confused about angle or solid angle because stay radian So unit is solid angle, but radian is the unit of angle. So don't get confused. And Kelvin is used to measure the temperature. Candela, it is used to measure the intensity of flame. Stair radian, as I discussed, it is used to measure the solid angle. Come to the next one. Newton is used to measure. Newton is used to measure. It is used to measure the force. It is very easy question. because the speed unit is meter per second volume is meter cube and area is meter square so answer b c come to the next question radian per second is the unit of momentum moment of inertia frequency angle velocity here if the if you are not able to answer the question you can relate the your question with answer because here radian per second or angle you can collide both the angle and radian so you can uh, match with your answer angle velocity is the right answer radian per second because momentum it is the product of mass and velocity moment of inertia is also uh, its unit is uh, millimeter per four and uh, frequency is unit is hertz so you can collide with the answer angle velocity where angle or radian comes you can directly match your answer so come to the next one unit of pressure is unit of pressure is newton second pascal watt newton per meter its right answer is pascal as we earlier discussed about it newton per second newton newton second newton second is the unit of impulse watt is the unit of power newton per meter is the unit of surface tension come to the next one what is uh, unit of work and energy simple its answer is joule and uh, come to the next one the unit of viscosity viscosity is unit is newton second per meter square because the coulomb's unit is electrical charge coulomb is the unit of electrical charge watt per meter per degree celsius is the unit of thermal conductivity joule per kilogram per kelvin is the unit of specific heat capacity come to the next one what is the unit of electrical capacity unit of electric capacity uh, henry farad volt ohm so its right answer is farad farad is the unit of electrical capacity and uh, henry is the unit of magnetic induction volt is the unit of potential difference ohm is the unit of electrical resistance come to the next one what is the unit of astronomical distance it is again very simple question unit of astronomical distance is light year don't get confused with the angstrom or other units because it's uh, right its right answer is light year angstrom is the unit to used to measure wave wavelength weber is the unit which is used to weber is used to measure the magnetic flux and lux is used to measure the intensity of illumination come to the next one 
scalar quantities scalar quantities are physical quantities which have magnitude only and no direction physical quantities which have no magnitude only and only direction physical quantities which have magnitude only and direction physical quantities which have no magnitude and no direction so its right answer is physical quantities physical quantities which have magnitude only and no direction and if we talk about vector quantities it have both physical quantities which have magnitude and both the direction it we, uh, vector quantities have direction and magnitude both come to the next one <clears throat> what is displacement displacement uh, longer distance longest distance covered by a body in a random direction shortest distance covered by a body in random direction shortest distance covered by a body in a definite direction longest distance covered by a body in a definite direction so its right answer is c shortest distance covered by a body in a definite direction which law is called the law of inertia newton's first law second law newton's third law all of above so its right answer is first law newton's first law is also known as law of inertia which explain any body is moving in any direction it will remain continue with their position until or unless any external force is applied on it the next one what is newton's third law of motion <coughs> Newton's third law of motion. That means uh, here the answer is uh, third third number. The rate of change in moment of a body is directly proportional to the applied force on the body and takes place in the direction of force. The option C is Newton's third law, and the option first is Newton's first law, which is also known as Newton's law of inertia. Come to the next one. If no external force acts on a system of bodies the total linear momentum on the system of bodies remains constant which law states this newton's first law newton's second law newton's third law principle of conservation of linear momentum so option d is correct principle of conservation of linear momentum if no external force acts on the system of a body the total linear momentum of the system of body remains constant so it indicates the principle of conservation of linear momentum the rotational effect of a force on a body about an axis of rotation is described in terms of center of gravity centripetal force centrifugal force moment of force so its right answer is d centripetal or centrifugal centripetal force which act inward and centrifugal force which act outward cg of any body which act at the center of the body it is called cg of the gravity center of gravity come to the next one energy possessed by a body in a motion is called kinetic energy if any body is in motion we can say it is in kinetic energy so answer is a potential energy if any body is any is at any height it, it can be represented by rho g h and kinetic energy is represented by half of mv square where m is the mass and v is the velocity come to the next one electric motor converts what electric motor converts what electric motor convert is electrical energy into the mechanical mechanical energy into the electrical electrical energy into the light energy so electrical energy into the mechanical energy its right answer is a come to the next one solar cell converts again a very easy question what solar cell converts it converts the solar energy into the electrical energy come to the next question question number 46 if lift is going up with acceleration the apparent weight of the body is maybe more or less than the true weight equal to the true weight less than the true weight more than the true weight its right answer is more than the true weight if any if lift is going in upward direction with an acceleration but the apparent weight of the body is more than the true weight its uh, right answer is d so come to the next one uh, 47 number all planets move around the sun in elliptical orbit the planets move around the sun in elliptical orbit with the sun being at rest at one focus of the orbit there is no option there is option of true or false so its answer is true come to the next one orbital speed of a satellite is dependent on of its mass so here is option true or false we have to give answer in false or true ways so its answer is false come to the next one what is escape velocity 
we have four options but the right one is c is a velocity is such a minimum velocity with which a body should be projected from the surface of the earth so as it goes out of the gravitational field of the earth and never return to the earth is a velocity is such a velocity if any body get escape out of the gravitational field of the earth it will never come back to the earth and if for example if you threw any object with an a speed of 11.2 km per second it will never come back to the earth surface come to the next question atmospheric pressure is measured by as well earlier discussed this question its sensor is barometer come to the next one sudden fall in barometer is indication of what sudden fall in barometer indicate in the four option we have storm rain tide clear weather so its right answer is storm come to the next which is true which is true in the following uh, following options in a static liquid at some at same horizontal level pressure is more at center in a static liquid at same horizontal level pressure is less at center in a static liquid at same horizontal level pressure is same at all the point in a static liquid at same horizontal level pressure is different at all the point so option C is the correct. In a static liquid, at the same horizontal level, pressure is same at all the point. If uh, liquid is static in a horizontal level, in such a situation, pressure will remain same at all the point. It doesn't matter its shape. Come to the next one. Uh, when a body is immersed partially or wholly in a liquid, there there is an apparent loss in the weight of the body, which is equal to the weight of the liquid displaced by the body. so what is the right answer true or false so it is true this is statement is totally true come to the next one <clears throat> force of attraction between the molecule of different substance is called it is called adhesive force adhesive force act between uh, same uh, different kind of molecule and cohesive force is such a force which act different kinds of molecule so there is a difference between cohesive and adhesive comes to the next one the force which opposes the relative motion between different layer of liquid or gases is called which type of which kind of force opposes the relative motion between the different layers of a liquid or a gases so its answer is viscous force because the remaining all are uh, <coughs> option a and c definitely incorrect because they are velocities but the second one is a streamline flow streamline flow is a flow where all the particles move in a parallel manner in a very a uh, streamline manner but viscous it is a type of force where, where the relative motion between different layers of a liquid get opposes to each other come to the next one what is the maximum value of deforming force up to which a material shows elastic property and above which the material loses it so which option is right elasticity strain elastic limit stress <coughs> elastic limit is the right answer come to the next one what is hooke's law as we this is a really very easy question again uh, what is hooke's law hooke's law that means stress is directly proportional to strain come to the next one longitudinal waves and transverse waves are types of longitudinal and waves and transverse waves are of types of uh, mechanical waves non mechanical waves both none so its answer is a mechanical waves are longitudinal waves and transverse waves are the types of mechanical waves come to the next one which uh, of the following is an electromagnetic wave cathode rays sound wave ultra ultrasonic wave infrared rays which one is right here infrared rays is an electromagnetic wave what is the relation between wavelength frequency and velocity we have four option uh, velocity of wave is equal to frequency multiply wavelength velocity of wave is frequency divided by wavelength velocity of wave is equal to wavelength by frequency none so its right answer is a velocity of wave is equivalent to frequency multiply wavelength come to next one what are the audible sound waves having frequency less than 20 hertz having frequency between 20 hertz to 20000 hertz having frequency more than 20000 hertz none which was the right answer having frequency between 20 hertz to 20000 hertz the human being can hear any voice whose frequency lies between 20 hertz to 20000 hertz but the only 
टू लिविंग थिंग्स मैमल एंड बैट बैट एंड डॉग कैन एबल टू हेयर द फ्रिक्वेंसी लेस दैन ट्वेंटी हर्ट दैट्स वाई दे कैन ईजिली कैच द थीव्स एट द नाइट बिकॉज दे आर केपेबल ऑफ हेयरिंग द फ्रिक्वेंसी लेस दैन ट्वेंटी हर्ट्स सो कम टू द नेक्स्ट वन वॉट इज द रेंज ऑफ मरकरी थर्मोमीटर वी हैव फोर ऑप्शन जीरो डिग्री सेल्सियस टू थ्री फिफ्टी डिग्री सेल्सियस माइनस टेन डिग्री सेल्सियस टू थ्री फिफ्टी डिग्री सेल्सियस ट्वेंटी माइनस ट्वेंटी डिग्री सेल्सियस टू थ्री फिफ्टी डिग्री सेल्सियस माइनस थर्टी डिग्री सेल्सियस टू थ्री फिफ्टी डिग्री सेल्सियस सो द लास्ट वन इज द राइट आंसर माइनस थर्टी डिग्री सेल्सियस टू थ्री फिफ्टी डिग्री सेल्सियस एट इज द रेंज ऑफ मार्गरी थर्मामीटर विच इज यूज टू मेजर द डिग्री ऑफ फीवर कम टू द नेक्स्ट वन विच लॉ स्टेट्स द रेट ऑफ लॉस ऑफ हीट बाय बॉडी विच इज डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल टू द डिफरेंस इन टेम्परेचर बिटवीन द बॉडी एंड द सराउंडिंग सो विच लॉ इंडिकेट द एवब स्टेटमेंट इज न्यूटन्स लॉ ऑफ कूलिंग एंड द रिमेनिंग आर रॉन्ग come to the next one let we let we discuss about some effects uh, uh, doppler effect what is doppler effect kirch of law and stefan's law what is doppler effect doppler effect can be described as the effect produced by a moving source of waves in which there is an apparent upward shift in frequency for observer toward whom the source is approaching and an apparent downward shift in frequency for observers from whom the source is receding kirchhoff's law kirchhoff's law is signifies that the good observer are good emitter good observers are good emitter those who are good observer they are good emitter also it indicates the kirchhoff's law it is a statement of kirchhoff's law and what stefan's law is the radiant energy emitted by black body per unit area per unit time is directly proportional to the fourth power of its absolute temperature come to the next what is refractive index it is defined as the ratio of the speed of light in the medium to the speed of light in vacuum it is defined as the ratio of speed of light in vacuum to the speed of light in the medium it is defined as the product of speed of light in the medium and in vacuum or none so answer b is the right it is defined as the ratio of the speed of light in vacuum to the speed of light in medium come to the next one the angle of reflection is equal to the angle of incident what it is true or false it is true always when any light incident on a any reflected surface it will it will equally incline uh, from the angle of incidence angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection so it is true come to the next one uh, the incident ray reflected ray and normal to the reflecting surface at the incident point all never line up same plane it is true or false it is false its right answer is false because the incident ray uh, reflected ray and normal to the reflected surface at the incident point all never line up same plane. they will never line up same plane come to the next one uh, which are the primary colors red green blue is the right answer red green blue are the primary colors red blue green are the primary colors all these colors are produced by mixing in different proportion come to the next one device used to measure the potential difference between two points in a circuit <clears throat> so ammeter galvanometer voltmeter none its right answer is voltmeter and ammeter and galvanometer we discussed earlier come to the next one atom is the smallest part of the matter which takes part in a chemical reaction it is a very easy question it's true come to the next one uh, which of the following is not the property of cathode rays cathode rays are invisible and travel in straight line these rays can ionize gases these rays can penetrate through thin metal foils these rays make material cool on which they fall so all the above three options existed but the fourth one is not so the answer is d these rays can hit the material on which they fall thank you friends for watching this video we will come with some new videos if you like this video please subscribe our channel smart studies thank you once again